Hello everyone, I'm Trey 50 Daniel, and today I wanted to do a tutorial uh, talking about how to uh, set up a .NET Core application on your local IIS on your machine. So today what I wanted to do is uh, be able to show you how what steps you need to go through in order to set up this application to run in your local uh, on in your local browser on your local IIS. Uh, so the one of the first things you're going to do is there's going to be a couple setup steps here where you have to uh, download some stuff and check some tick off some boxes to make sure that you uh, have everything you need set up before you start setting up your application. And, you know, some people may do this in reverse order and kind of start making their application and publish it. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and tell you what you need, what you're going to need beforehand, so that way uh, you, we can go ahead and um, get gets everything set up so to start with you can just look up .NET Core uh, and your version runtime ho and hosting bundle by by default it's going to show you the latest version if you just look up .NET Core runtime and hosting bundle uh, I need .NET Core 3.1 so uh, this result is what I want uh, and it's going to take me to the Microsoft site where they're going to have some uh, information about .NET Core 3.1 so they have some software packages you can download. What you're specifically looking for is the ho Runtime and Hosting Bundle. And so that, that's what you, you'll find here on the right side. It'll say Runtime.NET Core Runtime uh, 3. Dot whatever version. Um, and then it's going to have, or whatever version you're planning on running your application in. Uh, and then you find this Hosting Bundle on, on the right side over here. Uh, click that, download it. Uh, it has a simple installer. Uh, that you can run through. I, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch this, but uh, you can just click on that and it'll download the runtime and hosting bundle and start the setup for that. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want the SDK for uh, your uh, your OS version and uh, the what, what I would do is I would be installing Windows X64 since mine is a 64-bit system. Um, and then I would just click that and install that. Install the SDK, and then you can move on to the next step. Um, after you've installed the runtime and hosting bundle and, and the SDK, uh, you're going to need to make sure that your IIS manager is uh, actually enabled uh, to be to be able to see it. Uh, so if I go here and I uh, search, I search in the search bar on the um, on the taskbar you can search for turn windows features on or off and what that gives you is this little uh, this little box box here this little window that's going to show you some different uh, things to enable or disable on the, your windows machine what you're specifically looking for is internet information services or IIS uh, if you tick this box typically uh, it'll it'll make it a black square and it'll fill in everything you need but what you want to double, just double check and make sure that if you go to web, manage, web, web management tools and expand that, then that you have the IS management console, uh, that box is checked. So that way you can actually see the IS manager. So now we can go ahead and, uh, since I have that enabled, we can go ahead and tick that off. And now uh, you can search for IS manager or uh, Internet Information Services Manager. Uh, it opens this up, and there's a few things here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to application pools, and we need to create a new application pool for our our .NET Core application that we want to run. Um, it, this one's going to be called dividendportfoliomaker.com. Uh, And we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I've just found that the app identity should be a network service. And then now, now we're going to create a site. So now we need to create a website in IIS that will then map to uh, the application pool. So now we copy that in. And we're going to pick a physical path. Um, we uh, 
we're gonna I, I have a path specifically on my machine that I call data root where I publish all of my uh, websites to I have them in separate folders where they publish to um, so I have one already here named dividend portfolio I'm going to click on that one uh, that is the one that I've designated for this site and then I'm gonna uh, also have dividend portfolio maker down here as the host name because what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to browse to this using this URL as opposed to saying localhost and whatever port um, th those are two options that you can do you can keep it just being localhost and uh, change this port number here uh, but you're gonna have to ha have all of them be different port numbers and you're gonna have to know which one is which port number so this just makes it uh, easy to read and understandable for me to be able to go ahead and create that host name and uh, then we can actually just browse to it in our browser from this host name so now that we got all that information filled in we can click OK uh, and then now um, you know as we also need to check one last thing uh, that when we go to this website here uh, you'll, you'll want to make sure just because sometimes there are redirects and everything that are going to uh, affect your application uh, I recommend having URL rewrite installed um, and so if you if you go in there in the web platform installer and search for URL rewrite in the products um, you can see I've already installed it but uh, I highly recommend having that just because if there's any redirections that you're having to do sometimes uh, it's gonna have to rewrite the URL and all that so <clears throat> now that we've made sure that that's configured uh, we now need to set up our application and actually uh, publish it to the folder that we uh, we we dis we've specified earlier. Um, so now we uh, have our uh, application here. I, I just went in Visual Studio and I created a new Blazor application, um, which is the technology technology that I'm choosing to use. Um, if I look at the .NET Core target framework uh, that I'm using, I'm targeting 3.1. Um, and so that way we know we picked the right we got the right hosting runtime hosting bundle on SDK and all that set, set up um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna publish this uh, I've already got it set up to publish to the folder uh, that uh, that I specified earlier uh, you can just um, you can see all that here I just set it up and I'm set it up in debug uh, and I've just made it a, a publish method to the file the folder um, and then to this specified folder that I have um, I'll just walk you through that process it would be you would click the folder and then you click browse and you browse to that specific folder which in my case would be here click OK and then you can just click finish and that'll that'll create the uh, publish profile for you to be able to publish that folder but I've already got all that set up uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click publish and it's published to that folder and then now uh, when we have one last step before we can actually uh, be able to run this as on our local machine here so we're gonna have to go to the host file and the host file is in uh, your Windows System 32 drivers, etc. Um, just see Windows System 32 drivers, etc. And then it's going to be your host file. You're going to open that in whatever text editor you like. Uh, I open it in Visual Studio Code because I like the the way that, that uh, functions for me. Um, and so now I'm going to tack on whatever website um, that I plan on hosting here. So, and if I'm going to host it on my local host, then I'm just going to use that uh, that specific URL. So I'm hosting it on my local host, so I just put the 127.0.0.1, which is uh, an a alias for your local host, um, which is which is the the uh, the actual IP address of your local host, and then I named it dividendportfoliomaker.com. Um, and that's going to be the domain that it's looking for, that the IIS is going to map to and look for. 
So now what I can do is uh, since since I've I've already saved it, set up set this up and saved this. And uh, if you, if you see when you go to save it, you're gonna have to save it uh, as an admin. So um, just make sure you can you can save that as an admin. And then now we can go into our browser, and I can paste that URL in. And voila, our application loads. So this has been how to set up a .NET Core application to run on your local IIS. Uh, if you have any questions or, or you you know you have any recommendations, feel free to leave those below. Um, I definitely want to hear any feedback from you. Uh, I'm also going to be doing more you know sort of tech tutorials and maybe some uh, informational stuff on my channel. So pl uh, please like uh, like this video if it was helpful uh, or or uh, informational for you. And then uh, also subscribe to the channel if you want to see uh, some more technical uh, videos. And I would appreciate that. This is Trey Five Zero Daniel, and I'm signing out.